Welcome back, everybody, to Chapter 2. Yakuza Dragon. The Bloody Reunion. Mr. Box. So you're gonna... Sir, I've completed my quota for the day. May I take a bathroom break? Very well. used to be Tojo Clan. You think you can be the perfect little prisoner and get back on the outside quick and easy? Idiot, you're a murderer. You could act like a goddamn angel in here, but you won't be getting parole for at least ten years. So I'd say it's in your best interest to get along with us. Not much to say, huh? <laughs> hey, what family were you in? That's a simple enough question to answer. Right. <gasps> the Arakawa family. Arakawa? <laughs> you mean that little after-school club of a family? Oh, man, this is such a letdown. Here I was thinking we had a real gangster in the house. What did you just say? I said your family's a bunch of small-time punks. Your patriarch may have been Arakawa the assassin once, but that was a long time ago. I heard he's gone fucking soft now. You got locked up for that washed-up has-been, and you think it means something? Oh, that's so fucking cute. Bastard. I'll kill you! <laughs> Try your best, little bitch. Oh, you fucking... Why'd you suddenly fight back? You took it for a whole year. Those guys had to be taken to the police hospital for crying out loud. You knocked all their teeth out. They were talking shit about my boss. Your patriarch waiting for you on the outside? Yeah. They were calling him a nobody, saying all this bullshit about him going soft. I couldn't just let that stand. <clears throat> well, what's he gonna say when he hears the bad news? He won't hear it. That's why he beat their sorry asses. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about your sentence getting extended. <laughs> I don't understand why anybody commits murder in the first place. 
But if there really is someone out there waiting for you, you should behave yourself. When someone believes in you, try not to disappoint them. Number 1119. Letter for you. Mm, they're all afraid of him. Apparently it's from someone important. <gasps> That's from Harakawa-san. Dear Ichiban. I wanted to avoid writing to you while you're in prison, but today my brush just called to me. If your sentence hadn't been extended, I would be planning your big welcome back party right now. I can't tell you how sad I am that I can't do that. <laughs> the days have been so lonely without you. Sometimes I think I hear your laughter in the office, but I always turn around and see that nobody's there. Only a parent knows how truly empty a home can feel. Parents are nothing without their children. Damn, dude, 2019. I'm anxiously waiting for the day when I will turn around and see your laughing face. P.S. The day you get out of prison, let's get that picking duck we missed. Mm, that picking duck, man. I still haven't tried that Boss, yet. Boss, I'm so sorry! When I got into that fight, I wasn't even thinking about how long you had already been waiting for me. An extra three years I made you wait just because I did something stupid! I'm sorry I failed you. I held you up for so long, but I'm out now! I'm finally back! Damn, 18 years. That's gotta be crazy. That's gotta... Gotta be feeling weird. You get out, everything's gonna be different by that time, you know? Right? Hell. From 2010 to 2019 alone, that's. Things have changed drastically, you know? So. Yeesh. Can't even imagine what that must feel like. Did you not know they've gotten more strict about enforcing the anti-Yakuza laws? It shouldn't surprise you that bosses aren't pulling up in fancy cars at prisons anymore. In the letter, he said he'd come for me. Not gonna happen. Just too dangerous these days. Yeah. Thanks for everything. You really thought the welcome wagon was coming. Mm. Uh, of course, you being in the slammer for 18 years, only natural he'd be a bit mixed up. <laughs> Gotta say, that's some deep loyalty you've got, waiting for a boss that never even visited you. Who the hell are you? Kanagawa police. A detective? I used to be. 
Now I'm just a washed up DMV grunt, one year shy of retirement. What's a guy from the slowest apartment ever doing here? Come to remind me to renew my license? Is that a service you offer nowadays? I'm here because I have real business with you. You, the murderer who shot a man on the last night of the 20th century. Heck, I even used some precious PTO to be here today. Huh. Well, sorry to disappoint you, but I don't plan on being a repeat offender. That's what everyone thinks when they get out. The moment they set foot on the other side of this fence. Shove it up your ass. You don't know shit about me. You were born and raised in Kamarocho, after being abandoned at the famous Shangri-La Soapland. The owner, Jiro Kasuga, took you in. Then he and his prostitutes raised you. Well, after that, it's by the book. You dropped out of school, committed multiple offenses of shoplifting and assaults, then finally joined the Yakuza at age 16. Oh, you had a largely unremarkable career as a member of the Tojo clan's Arakawa family. Well, till the night you killed an officer higher up on the food chain. Then, January 1st, 2001, you turned yourself in at Kamaro Police Station. Then, you were sentenced to 15 years at this prison. After getting an extra three years tacked on for bad behavior, we finally arrive at today, where you were just released about three and a half minutes ago. That about sum it up. Wow, you're my biggest fan for sure. You want an autograph to show your DMV friends? I just do my homework. Great, whatever. I don't care why you're here. Just get out of my way. There's somewhere I need to be. Oh, paying a visit to the Arakawa family? It ain't none of your business. Just leave me alone. Oh, but actually, it is my business. It very much is. Nothing personal, of course. Now, you're free to go wherever you feel like, but I'm coming with. What? Are you serious? What the... Whatever. Do what you want, man. <laughs> Do whatever you want, man. Come on. I don't want to insult you, but... Uh, uh, what did you do to my hair? I, I tried. It's just when you asked for a punch perm, I had to look it up. The, the truth is, I've never done one before. Uh, how am I supposed to face the boss with a rat's nest on my head? <laughs> what kind of look are you going for, man? Shut up! I just ended up with a bad barber is all. The hell's your deal, anyway? You really gonna just keep following me? <laughs> I told you, I have business with you. But I'm waiting patiently for you to take care of yours. So, what's next? You're creeping me out, man. Give me a break. Chikao Suzumori's grave, huh? Hold on. Isn't he the guy that was killed 18 years ago? Yeah, that's right. Hmm. Okay. So... Who killed him? You're looking at him. <laughs> Get real. You think I'm joking? Uh, let me ask you this, then. Why'd you kill him? I'd been banished from the Arakawa family, and I just... I was so mad, I just did it. You killed someone just because you were pissed off. 
<laughs> what are you, a schoolboy with daddy's gun? Nah, you ain't that immature. Now, if I were you, I wouldn't be visiting the guy's grave. How do you even give a shit, huh? I know that 18 years ago, Susan Mori was shot and killed. But not by you. And yet, you turned yourself in to save your family. I mean, everyone knew you didn't do it. The director of criminal affairs, the judge, jurors. Come on, Kasuga. You served your time. Why are you still lying? Who really killed him? Me. I did it. <laughs> well, you're a real piece of work. Well, you're a big pain in my ass. When are you gonna drop the act? My act? The detective shtick. Why are you following me around? There's no way an old fart one breath away from retirement suddenly decides to babysit an ex-con. Who are you really? What the hell's your angle here, man? My angle. <laughs> well? is Arakawa-san, isn't he? Why are you asking? Who the hell are you? You some kind of reporter? We don't do media, so get out of here. Go on, beat it. You don't understand. I used to be a member of the Arakawa family. If you were from the family, then we would know who you are. I've been in prison for 18 years. I just got out today. <laughs> if you're gonna lie, you're gonna have to do better than that. Just let me talk to Arakawa-san. You'll be glad to see me, so let me through! Hey! Hold your horses there, dumbass. You don't know what you're dealing with. Yeah, they're busy visiting an important grave today. Go on, get out of here! I didn't do 18 years for this shit. Step aside. If you don't, they're gonna have two more graves to visit today! about that hair bruh <laughs> I don't know it's all good though it'll grow on you it'll grow on you <sighs> you bastard you think you're getting away with this oh you want some more enough Kasuga hey fellas we're sorry okay well, my friend here he's he's a little crazy that's all what the hell you say about me Look, I'll give him a good talking to. Sorry about all this. We'll get out of here. Let go of me, damn it! Don't you get it? That's my boss! Boss! Horikawa-san! It's me! I got out today! It's Ichiban! Ichiban Kasuga! Didn't he recognize me? 
You were gone for 18 years. Isn't it possible he forgot who you were? Uh, no way! He didn't forget me! I mean, shit! He sent me a letter in prison! I'm sure he just didn't hear me. He's older, you know? His ears are starting to go and his eyes, too. He definitely heard you. Pretty sure your eyes met, too. No, he didn't! I understand. It's a hard thing to accept, Kasuga. But take a hint. Best case scenario, he simply forgot about you. If he does actually remember you, then clearly he doesn't want to talk to you. That's not true. There's just no way! I know the problem. What now? Think. Why would he be here? Visiting a grave, probably. Exactly. Visiting Susamori's grave. And I bet if he saw me standing right next to it, he'd recognize me on the spot. Yeah, all I gotta do is make sure he sees me right here, and... Hey, look at that. He's, uh, definitely visiting a different grave. Which one? That's... That's the former Omi chairman's grave. The Omi Alliance? The Yakuza who run Kansai? Why would he visit that grave? And with so many guys? It's a logical thing for him to do, since he's an Omi officer. Huh? Oh! <laughs> Listen here, old-timer. Those guys we just finished fighting said they were Arakawa. Didn't you hear them? Well, the Arakawa family is from the Tojo clan. Tojo clan! Everyone knows they've been at war with the Omi for ages. <laughs> you must have been a pretty shit detective, huh? <laughs> the Arakawa family isn't Tojo anymore. Huh? What did you just say? Masumi Arakawa is currently the acting captain of the Omi Alliance. He's the second in command. What are you talking about? That can't be true. I knew you wouldn't believe me. But think about it. Arakawa was the patriarch of a third-string family in the Tojo clan. Not the greatest position, but the tides changed for him two years ago. You see, the newly elected governor of Tokyo promised to scrub the city of crime. He started with targeted attacks on all Tojo's sources of funding. He called it the Kamurocho 3K Plan. The hell's that? An anti-Yakuza policy. Keep them hungry, keep them poor, and keep them out. 3Ks. The police started raiding major Yakuza families with surgical precision. Family officers were being arrested one after the other. There was just one exception. The Arakawa family. Huh? Ugh, that shouldn't come as a surprise. The reason the police were able to destroy the Tojo clan so fast was because they had inside intel. From the Arakawa family. Basically, Masumi Arakawa sold out the Tojo clan to the cops. No, he wouldn't! <laughs> I'm not even finished with the story yet. With the Tojo clan almost completely wiped off the map, the Omi seized the opportunity and poured their guys into Kamurocho. And you know what the cops did? They looked the other way. Arakawa must have slipped them a little something under the table. Like what? I'm talking about a bribe, dumbass. Arakawa slipped the police some cash so they would ignore the Omi Alliance's expansion. And that's how they took control of Kamurocho without spilling a single drop of blood. To pay back the favor, they welcomed Masumi Arakawa into their organization as the acting captain. Meanwhile, in the eyes of the Tojo clan, Arakawa had committed high treason. So what little of the Tojo remains will occasionally attack the Omi, but it's pitiful. 
I'm sorry to tell you all this, but you had to find out sooner or later. Don't let it get you down. It had nothing to do with you. You okay? You feeling all right? Nothing is fucking all right! Yeah, didn't think so. <laughs> Arakawa-san defecting to the Yomi? The Tojo clan is gone? You know what? You're a fucking terrible liar! So you don't believe me? No way in hell it went down like that! Arakawa-san was like the walking image of duty and honor! You saw him! He was visiting an Omi grave. Think about that. That wasn't Arakawa-san! I haven't seen the guy for 18 years, so how am I supposed to recognize him? Now that I think about it, that guy wasn't even wearing clothes that Arakawa-san would wear! <sighs> you do recall the men you fought identified themselves as Arakawa, yeah? I... We must have misheard him! Sometimes Where are you rough. taking me anyway? <laughs> this isn't the way to Kamurocho! We're uh, going to Yokohama. Someone you what? look up to. No, I need to get to Kamurocho! I told you, it's there's not nothing for you there. He was cracked up to be. Come with me to Yokohama. Who knows? As I've said, two we of could us be have wrong. business to attend to. Enough yeah, we... mystery! What business? An investigation. You are going to help me with it. Oh, fuck off! Why should I help you with anything, huh? Oh, I'm sorry. Did you think you had a choice in the matter? Soon we'll be in Kanagawa Prefecture, my jurisdiction. Now calm down, and let's have some peace and quiet, hmm? You know what? Stop the car right now, or else I'll fuck you up! <laughs> I'll fuck you Kasa, up! If you won't come the easy way, I can make up a reason to do it the hard way. You want that? Oh, now the threats are starting, huh? Well, at least they make you seem like a real cop. Oh, is that right? Yeah, like any dirty cop. You're coming up with some bullshit story to trick me. So what is it you want? For me to do some of your dirty work? I can see right through you, fucker. What family in Yokohama are you from? Wow. I showed you my badge, remember? But I guess there's no cure for stupid. Ha! <laughs> you think I'm gonna fall for that bullshit? Hey, what do you think you're doing, you idiot? Where do you think you're going? Come, Rocho, obviously. Are you even listening to me? You really need to drop the detective act already. It's obvious you're a Yokohama Yakuza. And hey, at least I'll get one hell of a story out of this, how I nearly got kidnapped right out of prison. Oh, you are such a dumbass. I have to go find Arakawa-san now. He's somewhere in Kamurocho waiting for me. Look, thanks for testing my instincts after I was in the joint for so long. Now see ya. I promise, Kasuga. There's nothing left for you in Kamurocho. Oh, damn it. I thought shit might go sideways. Guess he has to see it for himself. Selfie sticks and shit. Everybody on their phones and asks. <laughs> hey, got the vapes. They got the vapes. Ah, oh, man, that's funny. <laughs> they got the vapes. Oh, man. That's that's hilarious. I mean, right? I I would feel the same way. I'd be like, whoa. What is this? You know? Oh, let's uh let's try to head to the office.
How do you get job experience from a fight? Well, I mean, I guess being a fighter. Alright. Hopefully we don't, there we go. Hopefully we don't run into any more of those any more of those uh Yakuza hood people trying to What is this? This is really really pink. I don't know anything. Must see, must see, must see. Yeah. This boy out here, like, hey, come check out my stuff. Hey. <laughs> feeling about this. This is it, isn't it? Hey, are you supposed to be here? You got any idea what happened to the office that used to be here? Office? This used to be, you know, a girl's bar. What about before that? There was an office here. No, before the bar, it was a computer store. Before that, it was a maid cafe, and before that, a Filipino bar, I think. But 18 years ago, a, a family had their office here. The Arakawa family? Don't you know what I'm talking about? A family? Not a family family. I... A Yakuza office, okay? Anyway, I know it was here. Uh, that's too far back even for my old bones. <laughs> but I'll be honest with you, I don't see how the Arakawa family could have been holed up in a dinky office like this. Oh, so you do know them? I don't think there's a soul on this side of town who does it. They're a huge, famous family. Hmm. Really? Oh, finally, some good news. So where are they? I'm looking for them. <sighs> Not sure. In this day and age, Yakuza can't exactly be loud and proud, you know. Especially not hot shots like the Arakawa boys. I get it. Okay, thanks. Think you'll find them? Yeah. Well, I'll just ask the old woman at the SIG stand where they're headquartered. She always knows what's going on. Okay, good luck. Yeah, that old woman probably not there no more. Things like... They're not like they used to be. <laughs> I mean, you've been out the game, son, for like, you know, 18 years. I mean, you're going to revert to exactly what you think, you know, but... Yeah, man, things have changed. It's been a while. Where's the old woman? Oh, you mean the previous owner? <laughs> she moved back to the countryside a long time ago. Probably taking it easy in an old folks home by now. Oh, I see. Uh, hey, do you know where the Arakawa family office is? If, if you're not making a purchase, I should help the customer behind you. 
I just want to know where the Arakawa office is. Hey, some of us got places to be. Give me the usual. Yes, here you are. 500 yen, please. Just put it on my tab. Wow. People sure have gotten rude since I was gone. How pathetic. You say something? Where'd you learn your manners, huh? Mom raised you in a barn? Jeez, oh, and you're walking around town wearing a Tojo badge? Oh, wait, it's Omi Alliance. So, you're in the know. What family are you from? Me? I'm Arakawa. Oh, uh, nice to meet you, brother. Sorry I didn't know you. I'm new. Like hell you are! You're lying, out here with the Omi symbols, faking like you're Arakawa! Wait, you and that crew that visited the old chairman's grave today? Hmm? Oh, yeah, there was a big ceremony scheduled. But only the Patriarch and his officers go to stuff like that. Maybe some of their assistants, too, but that's it. Damn, you must be newer than me. Tell me one thing. Who's our Patriarch right now? Dude, you living under a rock? Just tell me who it is. It's acting captain of the Omi Alliance, Masumi Arakawa, obviously. Masumi Arakawa? Man, you forgot the name of your Patriarch? Get your shit together. Hey, you don't order me to do anything. I'm not Omi. Oh, but you just said you were in the Arakawa family. Damn right. And that family is part of the Tojo clan. Tojo clan? You sleep talking, dude? Do I look fucking asleep? No, you don't. But you must be one of those Tojo pests still crawling around. We've got permission from HQ to exterminate them on sight. You owe me are the ones who invaded. This city is Tojo turf. Not anymore. I do Tojo roaches need to die already. Damn. That's some tough stuff going on yep. here. Uh -oh. The battle is on. Cool. Guys, go. Check this out. Come on. Yeah, that's some, some stuff going on, man. We uh get out the slammer, and then uh, all the family is getting all kinds of swapped around, man. Cause you're living in yesteryear. Hmm. Did Arakawa-san really betray the Tojo clan and run to the Yomi? Answer me! Yes! Aniki! That guy's a Tojo loyalist! Get him! What? Get back here! So many people disappearing. <laughs> So 
うねHe's a magazine writer, huh? I wonder what kind of magazine he's writing for. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Michio. Come on now. See ya. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gotta go. Gotta go. Yes, Michio, sir, has changed. Ushio. Huh, maybe he can help us. I don't know. But anyways, yeah, so how's everybody doing? We uh just had Thanksgiving the other day. Uh oh, we got some people here. Hey, well, let's get the points. XP. Uh oh, let's do it. You be Yakuza. I'll show you the way. I mean, I haven't had the chance to look at like perks or whatever, anything like that yet. It's it's still early though. It's very early. But so yeah. Anyways, Thanksgiving. Just uh, we did our whole, you know, COVID Thanksgiving since that's going on. We did. Um, I went over. Uh, Saw my folks, hung out for a bit on the porch, and uh, talked about some random stuff, you know. Wait, which way am I going here? And then after that, went over to my brother, my brother's place, had dinner with him and his wife. And, uh, yeah, we had some good, we had some good eating there. But uh, the thing was that, so where he's at, it's out in like a country area. 
and we could hear like a, this bass, you know, bass bump. You know, it sounded like a, uh, like let's say like a party going on or something, right? But I guess it's a regular occurrence that happens. And so anyways, we, we, we drove over there. We try to go across the freeway to see if we can find this out, but uh, never mind. I'll, we'll get into this story a little bit. Let's see what's old Ishio trying to find him. Nah. That'd be a crazy face to see. Like, what? Hey. Huh? Hmm? Ichiban, Ichiban Kasuga, you got out? <laughs> Been a while, Ushio. Take out that realize. Oh, that was close. Nice. Damn, you're strong. We're gonna remember your face, Dick. I can tell you love your job, but you ought to love being alive more. Else, who's gonna take care of that precious camera? A real fist fight between the Omi Alliance and a Tojo clan loyalist. Oh yeah, these picks are go for a fortune. Thanks, Ichiban. Hey, hold up. Oh! That, that sucks. What the hell are you doing, man? Don't bother that guy. It was your fault anyway. Come on, get out of here. If I see you again, I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Tough words for a guy who just took off screaming. Yeah, you better run, Kamalop. Kamalop? Kamalop? It's a local mascot they made to improve Kamarocho's image. What the hell is a local mascot? Uh, we're gonna be here all day. We got a lot of catch up. Remember on. the internet? It's big now. Use it. Fine. Just tell me what happened to the Arakawa family and Arakawa san. You were in that family once upon a time, right? Stop! 
You gotta know what happened, being a local reporter. I don't believe that Arakawa-san was a traitor. It wasn't who he was. You really want to know why Arakawa did what he did? Because I do have the scoop. I'm not a journalist for nothing. So tell me, when did you get locked up again? 18 years ago. And Arakawa had a son, right? Yeah, the young master. It used to be my job to escort him. I don't know the details, but he was kind of sickly, right? Uh-huh. Uh, what do you mean, was? Is he better now? He's dead. What? Oh, what? When? How? Huh. Would have been about three years after you went into the slammer. As I recall, his condition got worse. There was nothing they could do. Arakawa was pretty fond of him, or so I assume. It was more than being fond of him. Arakawa-san would have died for his son. Maybe the loss changed his perspective on things. Nothing worse than burying your own kid. Yeah. I can't imagine how that must have felt, but... I still don't see how that would make him betray the Tojo clan. You don't? Maybe you can't understand, but once you have a child, the rest of your life is over. The kid becomes your life's purpose, you know? So imagine the grief you'd feel if the kid dies. You just keep existing with your life's purpose pulled out from under you. The parents gotta find another reason, any other reason, to keep living. <sighs> Couple that with the fact that Arakawa is a Yakuza. I think maybe his new reason to live became watching the world burn. He wouldn't. Hey, why don't you give me some info now? You really in trouble with the Omi like those thugs said? Yeah. Then you shouldn't just be strolling around Kamurocho. You still got business here? If not, I'd get out of town. Huh? I promise, Kasuga! There's nothing left for you in Kamrocho. But... then where would I go? I mean... I don't know, dude. I'm just saying the Omi are looking for you. So I'd get out of town if I were you. Don't go home. Home? Yeah, the soap land you were born in? That'd be your home, right? Shangri-La... Hey! You're not going there now, are you? Don't do it! I'm telling you, they'll kill you! Kill me? <laughs> Let him try. Damn. Yeah, so anyways... The, uh... There's a weird base situation that had been going on. So we went to go investigate, right? And, uh... It, it would, like, just disappear. But it was coming from across the freeway. So... Huh. I don't know. It was weird. Just the fact that you could hear it so well in the house. I was like, man, that would drive me crazy. I'm all about, you know, partying, but... Hey, what's up with these guys? Hey, these guys are rude. Let's take them out. Street thugs. Yeah. Check this out. Come on, now. Uh -oh. Nobody responded, uh oh. Cool. Check this out. Come on. Just confirmed by fear. What? No way. Here we go. Come through. 
It, though it's it's slowly ramping up the difficulty I'm sure it'll be even better Press on. I want to press on with the story though. But I can't go that way. I guess I gotta go. Oh. And by doing so, I've got a battle. I've got a fight. Cool. Street thugs. Check this out. Come on now. something right now or no maybe not I guess not okay oh well no worries let's go ahead and head on out head on to the desired location yeah we never found out what that base sound was coming from it was kind of creepy we did see some creepy ass guy probably pulling off a I don't know copper off of a burnt out house I don't know that dude was creepy that flashlight out there on Thanksgiving Day who's going to be out there on the roof of a abandoned house burnt out house on Thanksgiving Day with a flashlight. Yo, that, that dude's a crackhead. Anyways. Let's see what's up. Man, this place looking bad. I remember it's had better days. Better days. Better days indeed. It's trashed. Never thought I'd outlive Shangri-La. So, is this the last stop on your tour of Kamarocho? Well, I knew you'd end up here eventually. You again? For real? Unbelievable, isn't it? A neon bright paradise like Kamarocho, and here's this dark, rotting husk. What happened here? Do you know? There was a Tojo clan civil war, and some moron drove a dump truck through the place. Well, no one's come near it ever since. Now, it's a den for lowlifes and thugs. Some real messed up dudes living there now. I see. I guess I never realized just how long 18 years really is. It's not the Kamurocho you remember. I know that must be shitty. Did you see what they built on Nakamichi Street? 
What? The new Kamuro police station. Just one more set of prying eyes watching everything in this town. That's because of the 3K plan. Without the Tojo clan throwing their bribes and threats around, the station finally got built. That's why everybody loves our go-getter of a governor. The Kamuro police station is just one of his legacies. <laughs> well, that shit doesn't matter to me anymore. Kasuga, I've been nothing but honest with you. I tried to tell you before. The Tojo clan you know is gone. The Omi alliance from Kansai invaded and won. They rule this city now. So, do you believe me now? Yes. Then <laughs> we're making good time. Well, you came around faster than I thought. Huh? I knew you were the kind of guy who has to see shit for himself. And everyone else be damned. So, I had to let you walk around Kamurocho until it all clicked for you. <laughs> and you got there quick. What are you doing? Trying to guess everything I do? Making fun of me along the way? Well, I didn't guess everything. I just knew you'd come here. <sighs> Look, man. Once and for all, what the hell do you really want? I want you to help me with my investigation. Huh? Arakawa, your former boss, used the police to crush the Tojo clan. Then he gave Kamurocho to the Omi Alliance on a silver platter. You and I both know you can't buy out the police with just Yakuza pocket change. So my theory is some of that money went directly to Juro Horinouchi, the police commissioner. The police commissioner? Yeah. Then I got a bone to pick with that guy. I'd love to see the son of a bitch fired. Of course, I'm just a driver's ed teacher now, so I don't have a lot of chances to get at him. But one chance I do have is if I go through Masumi Arakawa. And you figure I can help you get to Arakawa-san, is that it? Congrats, you solved the puzzle. Mm. I thought you'd be game because, come on, aren't you dying to know why he turned traitor? If you don't agree, why don't you tell me? What are you gonna do now, hmm? I want to see Arakawa-san. It's all I thought about in prison. I just want to see him, talk to him. Well, your information. Tonight, Arakawa is bringing some Omi officers to a big meeting of local patriarchs. Really? That true? Oh, yeah. And we're not talking about a sweet little tea party. No, it's gonna be a show of arms. Arakawa, it's a critical moment. He needs to show his dominance. How do you know all this? I still have my connections from when I was a detective. Had to grease some hands, of course. Go figure. Well, where's this meeting gonna be? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. Huh. Interesting. Check out that restaurant over there. Hey on Tower. Oh, that's um oh, have you been there? It's a pretty classy joint. Expensive as hell, though. No, I haven't gone. It's just... Arakawa-san once promised to take me there. To eat Peking duck. Wait, I get it! This is Arakawa-san trying to contact me! Oh, man. Huh? We're a little... What are you saying? A little out there, man. It can't man. be a coincidence that the meeting is going down there! At a place that meant something to me and him! Of course it could be a coincidence. Come back down to Earth, kid. There I'm all for classy restaurants signs, but, here. man... Stands to reason he picked one of the only ones. Hmm? Screw you. It doesn't even matter. What's important is I can finally talk to him. Okay. First of all, the meeting isn't until tonight. And on top of that, the Omi know you're a Tojo loyalist. If they catch you, then you'll have zero chance of talking to Arakawa. Now, luckily, I have a plan for sneaking in. Unless you wanted to bust through the front door like an idiot. 
Okay, what kind of plan? That's a surprise I'll save for later. Later? What, we're just gonna wait here till they show up? No, I'm sure you have shit to do, just like me. Let's split up and meet back here tonight. Here, take this with you. What is this? A smartphone. I assume you've seen one before? Nah. No. How do you use it? Why do they make phones so damn complicated? <laughs> smartphones. Yeah, man. Shoot. I, uh, I never had smartphones until, like, what? I don't know. 2010? Uh, You'll figure it out. Just make sure to pick up when I call you. Whatever. Okay, so remember, we're meeting in this part of Theater Square tonight. Till then, keep a low profile, will ya? Okay, so we got all the stuff here. Valuable, valuables. We will obtain various valuables throughout the game and take time to appreciate them by accessing items from the point of view. Values may be neither discarded nor sold. Okay, well, that's good to know. Best party members. Pressing L3, put you in first person mode. Yeah. Okay. Be running marathons. Never get lost. Minimap. Item boxes. Save. It does have auto save? Yes. Okay. Okay. like all tips all right yeah seems like tips for uh, later let's continue on Party is bumping up in here at the information station. I really do. I want to go to Japan one day. That is one place that I do want to go. I feel like, um, They're very serious people, you know? I mean, they can have fun, sure. But something about the culture in Japan is a lot more serious. Which I'm okay with, you know? I gotta learn the language, though. That's the problem. Gotta learn the language. Overlord. It's like. Yeah. 
There we go. Great. Dachi san's not even here. And I'm sure this is where we're supposed to meet. You really should just sell that business pronto. Don't be sad. Remember what I said? You deal with business the way you do with fish and women. Catch, then release. Oh, wait, isn't that that Take guy? pride in the catch, but then set them free. Any sporting fisherman can tell you that. Really? You want me back at the office? Maybe I not. hope you're joking. I pay you generously to deal with this nonsense. The whole idea behind bringing you on was so that I could enjoy my nights off. Ciao! Wow. Tip. Hey, sorry to bother you when you're busy. What? You seen a burly looking guy in a blue coat around here? A burly looking guy? Sorry, my friend. Myself, I only pay attention to the ladies. Sure, yes. Why don't you simply call this person? Is his phone dead? Oh, that's right. He gave me a smartphone to call him on. Uh, wait. How do you call someone on this thing? There's no buttons. <laughs> a bit behind the times, aren't you? Hey, here, allow me. You'll show me? I'll make you the smartest of smartphone users. The hey, there he is! Uh -oh. You're not gonna weasel out of it this time, asshole. Shit, the Yomi found me. Oh, not for him. Huh? Nico got a new cravat wearing fuckwad. When are you gonna do right by us? And who are you, might I ask? You don't remember us? You sold us that shit property! Ah, that Yakuza, weren't you? The one who bought the deed for a most successful girl's bar. Successful, my ass! It barely makes any money! You need to make this right, you shyster! Ah, now that is strange. It certainly had a high profit margin while I was running it. The joint's in the red every month! Girls keep quitting, not enough customers! I can't even pay the electric bill! <laughs> I dare say you'll have to become better at managing a business. Fuck you say? Huh. This is a crap business when you pawned it off on me. You better buy it back now! <laughs> you are a funny guy. Asshole. Do you even realize you're mocking the Omi Alliance? Give it a rest, you jerk. Say what? This guy was about to teach me to use a smartphone. I get you got business with them, but get in line. You get in line! Hey, wait just a second. That ugly red suit, and that scruffy-ass hair! Yeah? Remember what Anaki said? How there was a Tojo loyalist around here? Uh-oh. He to look just like this guy, down to the moppy hair! Sick asshole. Enough about my hair! Ah, so you're an aggressive type yourself, huh? Something like that. Why don't you stand back, Mr. What was it? Nick Ogata? This is about to get ugly. I can see that. Will you be fine handling this by yourself? Hell yeah. And you can repay yeah. me in smartphone lessons. Sound good? <laughs> smartphone lessons. <laughs> Very good. Quit your yapping. And if things get ugly, you got nobody to thank but your own hair. The battle is on! Cool!
that's how you do it, boy. Yeah. I feel the stats going up. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> that looks painful. So, in all honesty, did you sell them a crappy business or not? I certainly did not. It was raking in millions of yen each month at the time of sale. A wonderful little property. If that's true, why'd you offload it? The riffraff you just beat down were insisting on protection money. <laughs> I didn't want their protection. We were only asking for a measly hundred thou a month, man. It wouldn't even make a dent in what you were pulling in. Yes, I recall it being something like that. So you know what I told them? If you think it's so easy, why don't you try running it? And you sold it to him just to make a point? You bet I did. I, I mean, can you believe their arrogance? A measly hundred thou? I have a number of businesses, and yes, they do bring in hundreds of millions of yen per month. But the reason for that is I know the value of money. It's very difficult for a small business to make a hundred thou. Ah, so you wanted them to learn just how much work goes into it. Exactly. And I believe now they have definitely learned. Businesses are like women. You think having one will be so glamorous, but there's some upkeep involved. You need strategy, you need passion, and you need to work your ass off to make her happy. So, are you gonna do what it takes to make that bar successful? Fuck that, I'm done sinking money into that bottomless pit. Fine, I'll buy it back from you, but for half of what you paid me. <laughs> Fuck you! But fine, take it, I don't care anymore. Damn. <sighs> I don't believe I caught your name. Kasuga. Ichiban Kasuga. Ichiban? <laughs> that means number one, doesn't it? <laughs> That's a lot to live up to, but you certainly did that tonight. Thanks for your help. Sure thing. And, uh, speaking of help... Yes, you want to learn how to work a smartphone, correct? <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't forget. Let's get to it. Where's your phone? Wow, I actually feel like I can make use of this thing now. Thanks, Nick. You're welcome. Mayhaps we should keep in touch. When I meet interesting people, I like to think there's a reason why. We can be pen pals. Ah, uh, if you want. But I got kind of a history, in case you couldn't tell. I got out of prison today. <laughs> that, that sort of thing doesn't bother me. Well, you should probably know. I was charged with murder. Is that so? Oh my, you are interesting. <laughs> and rather blunt, too. You've got more honesty than sense. But I like that. Oh yeah? You might say I associate with people who have, well, all kinds of baggage. Many of them are caring much more than you. No kidding. I'm starting to think you're shadier than the guys I knew in prison. <laughs> Bad news for me if that's what a felon thinks. One point for Mr. Number One. Guess so. Well, see you around, Ichiban. Ichiban. You're not gonna just randomly call me or anything, are you? Who knows? I just might. You'll find me to be a very persistent man. Hey. hey Who is that guy? Well, my first pen pal, I guess. Huh? Hey, what took you so long anyway, man? You're the one who set this whole thing up. Oh, I was hungry, so I went and got a beef ball. I ordered an extra large one, and... Ooh, it was a struggle. <laughs> Guess I'm getting old. Aren't we all? But here I am, about to sneak into a high-level Omi meeting. Yeah. Well, hope you're ready. Hopefully, we're ready. Yo. Ready? Okay. Right. Oh. 
Okay. For real? That's true. Haha, <laughs> that dragon quest. Koichi. Sup? Yo. <sighs> Will this place even take us anywhere? Yeah. Should lead us straight to our building. Careful, though. Never know what kind of lunatics you'll run into. I haven't seen this type of gameplay yet. Other, uh... Oh, uh-oh. Bad guys. Let's do it! Bomb bug. Cool. That's how we do it. Yo! <laughs> we all gotta do the pose. Alright, let's see here. Hmm. Mysterious mushroom. What kind of mushroom would be mysterious, huh? Well, I mean, are we in a sewer? We're in a sewer. I don't know if I'd want to take no sewer mushrooms. Yeah, I kind of will have to question myself. What's up? What's up? Who got you? Taking these guys out. 
I'm liking this active RPG style. Alright, where are we going? Is this the way? Or is this the back way? You're going down. Cool. Come up. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Going in. Cool. Where are we going? Okay, what's that? You know, you always gotta explore. So there is this option, but what about this? Oh, okay. So there's that option too. I'm always, uh, Anyone hungry? Hmm. Does it matter? I'm sure it does. There's going to be something that affects it. Night of the bottle. Oh, wait. Well, we gotta take this guy out. Come on now. Check this out. Gotta take him out. Well, we're alive. We are alive. That's that's that. So can I, you know, use items to bring my party back? It's not I'm getting creaky. Yeah, I know you are. So let's see here. Party. Check stats. Koichi. I can't give you health. Why can't I give you items? Oh, uh, come on now. Items. <laughs> Not bad. Oh, good. There we go. It works. It works. Okay, we should be good for a while. We should be good for a bit. Let's head on in. Mysterious leaf. So we had to go that that way anyways. Hmm. Oh, it's okay. The battle is on. Cool. Come on now. Check this out. Okay, cocky. I'm up. Let's go. 
bomb bug. The enemy is defeated. The enemy is defeated. Yeah. Yeah, your back's killing me too, bro. Okay. Does it matter? Cool. Come on now. Check this out. I'm up. You're in it now. Don't get cocky. Let's go. Let's go. I got this. Is there anything over here? Is there a reason? Let's go ahead and take these guys. You're going down. There's something here. Mushrooms. It's, hey, it's worth it. Something, it's always worth it to clear out an area. Always. Come on now. Check this out. Let's go. Take them extra items, man. It's worth it. Alright, Ichiban Kasuga. Where are we going? Which way we gotta go? This way. Uh, this way and that way? 
Well, how do I get there? Come on, y'all. We done tore up the sewers here. The only people we haven't beaten up is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Where are they at? Kasuga! here for anyways come on man okay so so we gotta go we gotta go oh what come on now Menacing man. Cool. Come on now. I'm up. I got this. Uh oh. Got a bottle. Yeah. Bring that. Boom. You out the game. Alright, you know what? I guess we just gotta go forward. I don't I don't know what we did wrong. Let's uh Maybe we didn't do anything wrong. Maybe we just didn't go the right way. Come on. Let's go. Let's do it! Cool! Let's go. 
Let's go! Hey! I'm a cop! I got this! Omae Kono! Crash! Haratatsuna! Take your best shot! Kono! I just had to make that one. Alright, we got a... Oh, let's see here. What we got? Pretty good. It works. Not bad. What do we got left? There we go. Well, let's see what's up here. It acted like it was, uh, what did I see? I don't have my, uh, special detective light here. Or a Cobalt family. What's up with this? Something. Something is here. Respawn or what? Somewhere. I was thinking I'm going crazy. Yeah, 
cool. Check this out. Come on now. I'm up. Kimi Zaku Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and save our game. Like the Matrix. Gotta save. you're doing here wake up we got intruders get them come on cool let's go Chinese restaurant here. Where the hell it go? Ah, quit jabbering and get your ass upstairs. Huh? Who the fuck are you? What on, what on? What on? The battle is on. Cool. Check this out. Come on.
Hey. some time. Go on ahead. Go! The dodgy side! Just go! I'll catch up when I can, okay? Get moving! What's going on here? Uh-oh. Koichi Aichi left the party. Dang it. Man, back to me. Hey, hey, that's all you can count on is yourself. Gotta pick up all. Let's get them fries, get them good fries. Save often. Doesn't have the option. Well, well, ready to die, punk?
Captain Sawashiro. Oh, Ichi. It's been a while. When'd you get out? Come on. I know you don't care when I got out. <laughs> Sounds like prison made you into a pessimist. You should have called us. We would have sent someone to pick you up. I wouldn't have wanted a ride from anyone wearing an Omi badge. Where were you when the boss turned traitor? Watch your tongue, Ichi. He only did what anyone else would have done in times like these. But you're right. Even if the Tojo clan still existed, no one would have come to pick you up. You do realize that, right? Because if you remember, you were banished from the clan. Look, I'm not actually that hung up about the ride. And yeah, I remember the banishment. So what do you want? Did you come to beg for money? You know, I thought you might be grateful. Did you forget who spent 18 years eating prison slop in your place? Oh, I'm very aware of what you did. But you're not aware of what's happening tonight. What? It's a very important event for the boss. I can't risk one of his former grunts ruining it. So the choice is yours. Leave like a good boy, or die here. I'm going through that door, and talking to my boss. <laughs> you know, I really forgot how seeing your stupid face always made me want to kill you. I thought the same thing about you. Every time you hit me for no reason. Well, it's been 18 long years. About time one of our dreams came true. Sounds good. Just don't bitch and moan about it afterwards. Time for you to die. Let's do it! Joe, Uh-oh. Yeah. Show me your best. Check this out! Come on now! I'm glad you showed up. I've been waiting a long time for this. Uh oh. I got this. Is that all you got? Yeah. Cool. Check this out. Captain's got that freakish aura around him, and he's in a fighting stance. Gotta be careful. Yeah. Check this out. Come on. Now. Cool. You gonna try? <laughs> How you do it, man? God.
gotta get out of this, Captain Sashiwa. Do you have do any you itchy? What you're doing? No, don't do it though. I was that. Once you go through that door, there's no turning back. I. Ichi, are you sure you're ready for that? Eighteen years. I've been waiting to open this goddamn door for eighteen years. That's long enough. <laughs> And who might this be? Pardon the interruption. It seems I have a guest. So, you came. I figured you would. You never disappoint. Hmm. <laughs> Boss, please just tell me. Why'd you do it? Captain, do we have a problem here? No, nothing serious. No need for you to worry. Boss. In fact, it's going as planned. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ichi. You have to die. What? No! That's not the plan. That's certainly not the plan for me, at least, Ichiban. That's going to wrap it here for today. Chapter 2. Done and done, son. Wow. He trying to off me, man. Come on. Uh-uh. No way, son. No way.